There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below. But for now, today's question. The question, is high blood pressure a silent killer? Answer by Tiny Nair, Lagodia Palace, in Crimea, Yalta, located in southern Ukraine, at the shores of Black Sea, was the summer retreat of Russian Tsar, Nicholas II. With 116 rooms, each one furnished in different taste and design it was the ultimate in opulence. It was here that on February 4, 1945, the big three world leaders met. The British Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill, the American President Franklin D. Roosevelt, and Chairman of Russian Federation, Joseph Stalin, the trio finally decided to draw the curtain onto one of the bloodiest of human conflicts, the Second World War. While they conferred and mediated to end the animosity, unknown to these three men, a common enemy was on their job, working silently, planning a sinister personal attack on each one of them, an attack of a different kind. Hypertension. Exactly 68 days later, President Franklin D. Roosevelt died of a massive cerebral hemorrhage. Joseph Stalin in 1953 and Sir Winston Churchill in 1966, died from cerebral stroke. All the three world leaders succumbed to the complication of a totally preventable disease, high blood pressure, hypertension in medical terms. The most important strategy in a war is an early and clear understanding of the sting and reach of this silent enemy. Till recently, doctors failed to do so as far as hypertension was concerned. As recent as 1931, the British Medical Journal, BMJ, editorial warned the greatest danger to man with high blood pressure lies in its discovery, because then some fool is certain to try and reduce it. For two long years preceding President Roosevelt's death, his physicians recorded the president's blood pressure as high as 200-110 many times, severe hypertension by today's standards, but never felt alarmed. On 13th of April 1945, the day after president's death, his physician issued a statement that H. His death came out of clear sky meaning that there was no warning at all. At that time no one thought that this level of blood pressure was abnormal and could cause a brain hemorrhage or stroke. This lack of human understanding of its long-term complications, is what makes high blood pressure unique. Hypertension is often referred to as a disease of 50%. Actually this denotes that only about 50% people with high blood pressure are aware of it. Of those aware, only 50% are treated. And of those lucky ones being treated, only 50% are controlled to the recum and it goal. In India it is a dismal 30% instead of the western 50%. Stroke, brain hemorrhage, loss of vision, heart attack, bulging of vessels in the chest, aneurysm, kidney failure, you name it and all of them are listed as the complications of hypertension. One major problem of hypertension detection, unlike other diseases, is that it has hardly any symptoms, silent. Majority of patients with high blood pressure don't have headache or vision problem or get angry or annoyed soon. And, despite popular belief to the contrary, this means there are hardly any warning signs. The victim can easily be an apparently healthy, you or me. So the only way out is to get our pressures checked and know our numbers. It takes less than 5 minutes for a medical professional to record blood pressure. Undetected high blood pressure can result in a massive brain hemorrhage and kill a person instantly. Even if the victim survives the stroke, the social and economic implications of living with a stroke-related disability is even more painful. The December issue of Lancet quotes the global burden of disease GDB 2010, database to show that high blood pressure ranks as the number one risk factor responsible for death and disability worldwide. All that we request is just five minutes of your time. In return you might benefit by decades of healthy future. Call it a shortcut to good health, if you wish. Answer by Charlotte Chandran Pillai. Yes. High blood pressure or hypertension can be a silent killer. It affects about a billion people worldwide and is a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease. As the condition may have no symptoms and the person feels absolutely normal, it is usually detected accidentally. Simply stated, hypertension is the condition where you have chronically an abnormally high arterial blood pressure BP. The commonest type of hypertension, seen in 95% of cases, is essential hypertension also called primary or idiopathic hypertension. Essential hypertension does not have any identifiable reason. The remaining 5% cases are classed as secondary hypertension and would have an underlying medical cause like diabetes, age-related reason. 
pregnancy or various other diseases like heart disease. Hypertension can do a lot of harm to the body. Regular BP checkups are recommended for all, especially as we grow older. The normal BP in an adult human is 120 mm, HG systolic and 80 mm, HG diastolic, written up as 120-80. A high normal, pre-hypertension, BP would range from 120 to 139 mm, HG systolic and 80 to 89 mm. HG diastolic, stage 1 hypertension would range from 140 to 159 mm. HG systolic and 90 to 99 mm. HG diastolic, stage 2 hypertension would range from 160 to 179 mm. HG systolic and 100 to 109 mm. HG diastolic and stage 3 hypertension would be above 180 mm. HG systolic and above 110 mm. HG diastolic to be classified as hypertension, one should show persistent high BP over more than one measurement. Once identified as being hypertensive, investigations to check for organ damage, heart, eye and kidneys, should be done while cerebrovascular damage may be seen in older patients. The treatment for the condition is based on the hypertension stage and cardiovascular risk, plus any organ damage. For stage 1 and low cardiovascular risk, only lifestyle modification and medication plus lifestyle changes for others. The medication has to be continued lifelong. The lifestyle changes, cease smoking, limit salt to less than 6 grams slash day, avoid adding salt to food and processed food with salt. Limit alcohol consumption per day to 24 to 32 grams for men and 16 to 24 grams for women. Maintain near to ideal body weight for your height be active. Aerobic exercises for at least 30 minutes for a minimum 4 days a week like jogging, cycling, swimming or any active sports or even a brisk walk. Personal and lifestyle choices contribute to the incidence of hypertension and if these are altered, can lead to return to normal condition. Ayurveda and Hypertension In Ayurveda, hypertension is an abnormality of rakta datu, blood, and is termed shonita dusty. As in modern medicine, the primary treatment especially in case of pre-hypertension would be lifestyle change healthy food habits and yoga. There are many treatment options suited for individual conditions. Internal treatments done for hypertension include Pankakarma or Ayurvedic cleansing, detoxification, treatments to cleanse the body, Varekana or therapeutic purgation, Shiravirakana, purification through nasal root, and Vasti, medicated enemas, to correct the metabolism and lose excess weight. The external treatments include Daras like Takrashiro Dara, using medicated buttermilk, Kishira Dara, using medicated milk, or Taila Dara, using medicated oil. The Dara, stream, is made to smoothly flow on the scalp and or body of the patient lying on his back on a special wooden table. The Dara can last for a period of 35 to 45 minutes. Other forms like shiro pie, chew keeping cotton pieces dipped in medicated oil on the scalp and tying it in place and shiro vasti pooling of medicated oil on the cap and created on the head are also advised. These stars help in relieving one from stress, calms the nerves, improves circulation, relieves hypertension and insomnia, relaxes the person physically and mentally and re-establishes health. Shirolepa is another effective treatment for hypertension where medicated paste of herbs are applied on the scalp and avakaha which is tub bath and medicated oil. But there are many Ayurvedic herbs like Sarpaganda, Inrasaganda and Brahifati, Ashwagandha, Arjuna, Gokshara, Trifala, a combination of three herbs, Amala, Harataki and Bibhataki, Jatamansi and other regular food items like garlic, celery, pomegranate, wheat bran and ginger that are effective in controlling high BP, reduce hypertension and normalize blood circulation. Yoga for hypertension, yoga, at least initially, should be attempted under guidance if you are having any medical condition or if you are above 50. Starting out. Yoga postures that do not invert the body are recommended for people with hypertension. Calming restorative asana is like shavasana pose and focusing on the incoming and outgoing breath for about 10 minutes reduces stress and helps normalize BP naturally. Stretching poses like leg stretches and hip openers are also good. Poses that put the spine in a horizontal position allow the heart to slow down. Sitting and lying asanas like Vatikonasana, Bound Angle or Cobbler Pose, Varishana, Hero Pose, and Upavista Konasana, Seated Angle Pose, are recommended. After practicing the above asanas for a few weeks, asanas with mild inversions can be tried. 
Sati Banda Sarvangashana, Bridge Pose, or Doma Kasavanasana, Downward Facing Dog, are postures that position the heart slightly above the head, causing slight increase to the pressure in the head. The purpose of this article is to provide information about how Ayurveda can help control hypertension. If you have any serious acute or chronic health concern and are looking for an Ayurvedic treatment, please contact us on CS at Air Universe. Com and we can help you find the right treatment package for your condition. 1. Ayurvedic Wellness Packages Ayurveda, Yoga, Meditation in India, Ayur, Universe, Com Footnotes 1. Managing Hypertension the Ayurvedic Way, Ayur, Universe Answer by Manisha Saxena What causes high blood pressure? You should know about this. The force exerted by the blood in the arterial walls while flowing from one organ to another is measured as blood pressure, BP. The optimal level of for a healthy adult is about 120 80ths of a millimeter Hg. However, this level may suffer a dip or rise, owing to lifestyle habits, stress, and other changes in the body. Just as low BP is unhealthy, similarly, a high BP or hypertension can also prove T. OB Whiskey. A person suffering from hypertension may show the figure as 140 90 of a millimeter Hg on a sphygma manometer, a medical instrument used for measuring blood pressure. If this level rises suddenly, it can be a cause of grave concern, since it may also be an indication for some unhealthy disorders in the body. One of the best ways to prevent this is to go for a routine analysis to a doctor. List of causes The reasons for this condition in women and men are almost similar. I. E. It is experienced due to an increase in the force exerted by the blood on the walls of the blood vessels. There are several other reasons, a few of which are listed below. Symptoms A close observation of the signs and symptoms of this problem will be indicative of the presence of this health disorder. Given below are some of the signs for noticing a spike in the normal level of remedies. Lowering high BP is a must in order to avoid complications which may be life-threatening and also cause fatality in some cases. Awareness regarding the dangers of this problem is always productive in avoiding its occurrence. Whatever be the reason, it is essential to regularly monitor the level so that a rise or drop can be identified and prompt treatment provided. To read the above article click on the link, What Causes High Blood Pressure? You should know about this.